John Lusk here of Lusk Archery Adventures, series testing, successful hunting. Today I'm going to be testing a Vortex Broadhead. They've been around since the very beginning of Mechanicals. They're classics. But this is their all-steel model. It's the Vortex 125S, all stainless steel. So let's zoom on in here, go through some of the design features and specifications, and then I'm going to put it to the test for, with all the tests that I'm using for 2021. And if you have any questions about those, you can read the description box below the video, and I answer an as many questions I can think of and explain as much as I can about why I do the tests that I do and what the different scores mean and so forth. And then check out the, the score sheet that I post at the end of the video and the overall LUSK grade that I give it. So for these tests, I'm using my Bowtech SR6, set at 72 pounds. And I'm using a Bishop FOC King Arrows for most of the tests, but then for the hard impacts for uh, cinder block, I'm using the uh, the Bishop FAD, the Fad Eliminator, because they're just so incredibly durable. Here's a good close-up look at the head, and what you notice is it's all stainless steel, like I said earlier, uh, but it's really got a short ferrule, and I like that extra short ferrule. It's gonna make it extra durable, as well as being all steel, that's gonna make it extra durable. The uh, closed position cut with the blades leading forward like that is still 7 eighths of an inch, plus it's got this chisel tip that's gonna add to that, so you're getting over an inch of cut, at least, on impact. And then upon impact, this is gonna slide back the O-ring or it's gonna break off and the blades are gonna deploy and they're gonna look basically like this when they're deployed. Okay, it's hard to get that angle right. Yeah, they're gonna look like this when they're deployed. It's just like kind of a, a mini Vortex design, okay? I'm used to the bigger ones by Vortex, but I really like this because it's still a full two inches and yet it's got that shorter, stouter design. The blades are 0.032 inches thick of spring steel. And like I said, it's all steel construction. And the tip is this nice classic chisel tip that just goes as one piece into the ferrule there. So I'm eager to see how this head performs. Two seventy-five. It penetrated through seven inches. Here you can see the entrance hole, and it's right at one inch on the initial cut. Then by the back of this layer of MDF and rubber foam mat, it opened up to the full two inches and retained that throughout the, uh, the rest of the penetration. Three hundred. It penetrated through forty three layers. Here's the head after going through the MDF five times. And as you can see, the ferrule is in really good shape. It still spins perfectly true. Uh, but the blades we're getting a little bit more bent on each shot. Okay, it held up fine for like the first three shots and the fourth shot got more bent. And then the fifth shot, this blade almost broke off. I don't know if you can see that there, but it kind of broke right there. It started to break, started to tear off at the base of the, uh, of the blade where it meets the ferrule but uh, it, it did still stay intact, barely, <laughs> and it got uh, pretty bent up. So Farrell did very well, and the blades did, you know, okay. They did well through three shots, but then started to experience some damage. The good thing is, they still haven't completely broke off after five shots through the MDF. Here's the 125 grain S after impacting the concrete. The ferrule held up extremely well. It spins very well. One of the blades uh, really got bent back. Now that kind of was like a bad luck of the draw because the, uh, the hole was really close to another hole. I don't know if you could catch it on the impact. And so it impacted and kind of slid into this other hole. So it got a lot of impact on the blades. And so that's why you see it get bent off there, get bent back there. 
Though, again, bending is much better than breaking, and so I was encouraged with that hard of an impact that it didn't just snap off. The tip got a bit curled, and the end there, just a bit, you can see that, that little hook, that little rollover. But again, the ferrule itself still stayed straight. So what did you think of the Vortex 125S? Man, there's a lot to really like about this head. I love the all steel construction. I love the much shorter uh, overall ferrule that they have and still getting a two inches of cut. If you're looking for an over the top mechanical broadhead, this is something really worth checking out. Actually, of, of all the Vortex models for like deer, you know, size game, th this would be my favorite, um, you know, for like a turkey or something like that. I really like the super wide cut ones. But overall, I think it did really well. Now check out the score sheet and see how it performed in the areas that matter to you the most. And you can compare those scores with other broad heads of similar design to see how they measure up. But overall, I think it's worth a look. Great job, Vortex.